Yes, come. Please take your seat. Thank you, sir. Good morning, sir. Good morning. How are you? I'm fine, sir. What is your full name? Sir, my full name is Nitesh Kumar. And how may I call you? You can call me with my first name Nitesh. Nitesh, can I see some identification? Yes, sir. Here it is. Where are you from? Sir, I am from countryside area Rasina, which comes under the Cathedral district in Haryana. All right. Let me introduce myself. My name is Pramod Kumar. I'll be taking your IELTS interview today. And IELTS interview is taken into three steps. And first of all, I'll ask you some introductory questions. Now I'll ask you some questions regarding politics. Are you comfortable? Yes, sir. Shall we begin? By all means. Okay. So, Nitesh, tell me, do you have any involvement with any political party? Uh, yes, sir. Uh, I remembered an instance when I joined a political party. It was a year ago when I joined a BJP and it was it was a very amazing moment for me because uh, with the help of politics we have more exposure we have uh, more creativity to learn new things with the help of political leaders and uh, we can enhance our expertise with the help of uh, these types of involvement in parties do you think that it is important for people to take interest in politics uh, according to me, it depends on people's perception because uh, they think that if they have any involvement in party, so it may be a negative or positive impact on their mindset. But I think that involvement with any party or a political leader, it would be more fruitful to every individual. Do you cast vote during elections? Uh, definitely, sir. I cast vote during elections because this this is our right, and uh, we shouldn't lose this opportunity during elections. Because uh, uh, I think uh, within a four to five years, uh, every individual have chance to cast vote, so uh, they should not uh, lose this opportunity. Is the ruling party doing good in your area? Of course, sir. Ruling party plays a very powerful role in my area where I live because I belong to a countryside area and this party uh, do more efforts to clean and green especially in my area. Who is your favorite political leader and why? Uh, Narendra Modi is my favorite political leader. Uh, there are various reasons why I like Narendra Modi because he is full of passion, perception and peace and he takes strict actions against some discrimination or terrorists so that's why i like the most narendra modi would you like to join politics in future if given a chance well sir future is uncertain so uh, it it may be depends on the situation if i have a chance to take involvement in political party so i would definitely join any political party which uh, would be very beneficial to my upcoming future what would be your priority if you get political powers? Firstly, I will uh, demolish the poverty of uh, my nation because 70% uh, uh, of uh, people uh, who are struggling with themselves owing to poverty. And one more interesting thing is that unemployment is increasing day by day. So it would be wipe out in my nation or in my society. So firstly, I will take two steps uh, uh, to overcome these types of problems in my society. In this, now we will move towards the second part of the interview. It's called Q chord section. Yes, sir. In this section, I'll give you a topic. You'll have a minute to think over it and make notes on it. And then you have to speak from one to two minutes. Your Q chord topic for today is describe a job that you ever done in past. You have to tell me when it was or what it was, when and where you did it, why you had to do it and explain how you remember it. Take your time and then speak.
Well, sir, I have done many jobs in my in my past time, which conveys a strong message and which have a very huge impact in my mindset. Here, I would like to talk about a job which I done about uh, an year ago, and it was uh, organized in my village when uh, a famous, renowned personality, Mr. Shiv Khera, who is a writer in India, and uh, he organized some creative awareness program. Uh, regarding female fitness and environmental issues and basically he was uh, the member of national government organization and so uh, i joined uh, this national national government organization group any year ago there were two issues uh, which were uh, emerging day by day in my society one was female fitty side and second one is environmental problems so and this was a, a very serious concern issue and so i discussed with uh, mr shiv khera so uh, he discussed with me how we can overcome the problems in from society so i did my job uh, very seriously and uh, with the help of uh, my some uh, relatives or friends who belong to my neighborhood uh, apart from this uh, we watched uh, and uh, we started some door to door campaign uh, don't uh, waste and uh, do not uh, spread garbage in uh, in village streets because uh, uh, every individual uh, they think that because they belong to a village so that's why and uh, we paste some uh, posters uh, how we can stop Uh, female fertility side because uh, in my society seventy uh, percent of seventy percent of people killed their child in the womb, especially baby girl, and uh, this ratio uh, were inclined rapidly since an year ago. But nowadays, uh, I remembered very well about uh, these types of uh, Ill- illegal issues in my society, and uh, I remembered with the help of uh, positive impact. which i can see clearly in my society so and with the help of uh, famous personality started door to door campaign and wrote some documentary movies regarding female fetishized or environmental issues contains a huge impact in my society which would be very essential in upcoming generation and uh, nowadays my society is very clean and green with the uh, thousands of plants and uh, Uh, every individual take care of their baby girl and they provide uh, uh, good education for their especially baby child and uh, this this job i did in my past uh, very seriously uh, which would be very beneficial for society individual and uh, my upcoming generation nitesh now we will move towards the last section of the interview it's called follow up questions What are the factors that contribute to job satisfaction? Uh, there are many factors which plays a very crucial role to job satisfaction. First of all is the mutual bonding of colleagues and um, colleagues and employees and uh, second one is the uh, salary handsome salary. With the help of these two things every employees uh, can feel more comfortable they will do work with more enthusiasm and uh, they will not uh, feel any types of anxiety or stress uh, because uh, nowadays modern people have uh, an urgent need to earn more uh, with full satisfaction many people work from home with the help of computer technology what do you think are the positive and negative aspects of this uh, in my perception there are both the aspects positive and negative but if we see the brighter side of uh, online job or online work which people from home so there are more positive impacts on their opportunities because uh, uh, they can done their job as well as their child care responsibilities or household chores within a short period of time but there are some negative impacts on every individual uh, because they cannot monitor and identify the colleagues or employees mutual bonding and uh, they are not able to interact with people uh, which may be a uh, very negativity on their mindset how is the working environment of today different from the past uh, 
nowadays uh, every people and every individual depends on the technological equipment so because we live in a technological era but in past time uh, all the things are basically relied on theoretical experience but today we relied on uh, practical exposure and we can done with the help of computer technology within a seconds and all there are various things or various applications which which plays a very important role uh, to fulfill their work within a minutes seconds or hours what are the reasons behind increasing unemployment in your view uh, in my view the especially in my country uh, the population is increasing rapidly so uh, our population is uh, too high as compared to other countries so this is the first and foremost reason for unemployment but and one more thing is that people feel reluctant to go outside from their home for searching a new job and for doing some work so that's why unemployment is on the peak nowadays do you think that hard workers earn more money definitely sir hard work is the key to success so with the help of hard work we can achieve our goals our destination with the passage of time and if we are able to achieve our success so every individual have long term goals so with the help of long term goals we can earn more salary more handsome salary or they will be financially strong in upcoming time what kind of professional do you think will be earning more in future according to me those youngsters those strugglers are joined with computer technology software development and it management sector so they will be earn more as compared to other sectors because in future uh, all the things all the works will be done by technological gadgets or computer technology all right it is that's all for your interview today have a nice day thank you sir